All right, welcome to part two. So now we're moving on to like, God, what is this? Like the thir fourth, third turn or something? Fourth turn. We're making pretty good expansion progress, I would say, at least for Shinuyama. Uh, hopefully these guys will uh, succeed. Otherwise, <laughs> that won't be true anymore uh, if they die. But uh, okay, these guys did okay versus the Lion Tribe. Five deaths is kind of unfortunate versus them. Five deaths versus Wolf Tribe too. Mm, that hurts. Not sure how many more times I can expand this army. But these guys expanded here. That's not, that is uh, not a good, not a big fan of having to fight them already. Maybe I can just duke them out though. I can just take them on head to head. Hmm, how many cavalry is there? I probably want to go down here. This is a little bit. Uh, oh, well, they might be able to take it. I'm going to lose some units to heavy cavalry, like, right away, which is um, not good for obvious reasons. But uh, I think, I want or I want to say I can probably still take them out. Yeah, yeah, probably can still take them out. Uh, the nice thing about Bakamono, or these, Obakamono? Obakamono. Nice thing about Obakamono is that they have these like 30 damage great clubs, right? Uh, and the 30 damage great clubs are pretty good versus heavily armored units like heavy cavalry from indie provinces. Um, but you still uh, you still have issues with got a lot of gold there. Spend a good bit of it. Let's see. Why don't we get also one of these guys? Yeah, two leaders in one turn seems good. Then I can recruit some mages another turn. This is gonna be more kappas than I probably need. Ah, fuck, I'll, I'll get a lot of them. I can, I can use them. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to just fight air, fight to air more in the early Pythium actually? I have really poor expansion. Uh, if this was a player, I'd be very confident. But I'm a little bit less confident because it's an impossible AI, and so I'm not sure I'm gonna fuck them over as much as I'd like to. Yeah, by uh, taking their resources and holding them right. I'm basically going to just take this spot right here and, uh, oh shit, zero gold? Oh, oh no, oh, okay, let's, let's reset recruitment, and uh, we're going to recruit, hmm, get a decent number of those guys per turn now, uh, and then we'll recruit Obakamono to go with them, a decent number, and then we'll recruit an Uba, yeah, some research, okay, and uh, how many more can we get? Okay, good, that's what, well, that's what I want to do, and uh, just get a little tiny bit of province defense there. Hmm. Maybe I want one less of these guys to get more province defense. The province defense is pretty crappy, but it is going to provide a little bit of uh, cushion for my stronger units if I get attacked by Aramor, and I do want to hold this province against them. Shit, I could not take on the cavalry. How badly did I do? Hmm. Killed all six of the heavy cavalry and died to the militias, huh? That's unfortunate. Um, I wonder if I can just like kind of attack in there with just a couple dudes. <laughs> um, you know, I might be able to. Maybe. They won't retreat. It could be really bad for me. I could just lose my profit. But uh, let's give it a go. Uh, and we are going to t start taking some water provinces. This is actually, fuck, this is legitimately too many Kappas. So <laughs> I, I should have... If I really wanted to, I guess if I was playing this in a turn, um, if I was playing this, I'd probably play this about the same if I played it um, in a uh, Blitz, but if I was playing this online, because you, you've limited turn time, right, and Blitz isn't, I like a pretty fast turn time, because usually other people are slower than me, uh, and you know, it gets boring if it takes too long for turns, um, actually, Atlantean Militia is pretty terrible, I'll go there first, um, but what was I going to say? In a play by email game, I would have taken the time to actually count the Kappas and recruit exactly 40 total. That would have been the smart thing to do. But uh, whoops, didn't do that. All right, Patrol Province. And he's just going to defend for now because I do need a little bit more units than that to expand down here. These thrones are going to be important to take, but they're also going to be pretty tough to take. Actually, probably the most important thing is just attacking Pythium. I might just try and take like one more expansion force and then start sending armies of Pythium and see if I can beat might actually be able to fuck with them this early. Yes, that's okay. All right, so let's see how this goes. Stronger force from Pythium. Where was that? Sh shit. Shit biscuits. All right, that was pretty bad. Vroom! Oh no, this is gonna go. Let's 
pick this up for like 10 dudes. They don't have a lot of units there, so, I, so 10 per PD is probably fine to stop them from doing that. And we got this water expansion going on, which is nice. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll, I'll go over here and then walk back. So let's keep this guy over here, actually. This guy is going to... See, those guys have good morale, so we're gonna or we're gonna take advantage of the fact that this guy can do three armies, uh, three squads rather, and uh, <laughs> these guys are actually actually they'll, they'll make a good front line. Uh, fire closest though, um, hold an attack closest behind them a bit because they're uh, they're pretty arrow resistant. We'll have these guys like a little bit farther back. I put them off to the side. I don't know. I might get my commander killed, but I'll put them like over here. Maybe he won't get. Washed. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move these guys over here and start fighting Pythium actually. This front as well. And then we'll have a pro our profit get more dudes and go over there. Alright, that sounds good. Get another one of those, spend less money. Okay. Probably all good. Alright, we had defeated an attacking force from Pythium with minimal losses. That's good. Crimea. Crimea. Okay, and then we'll attack into their territory and take their shit. Okay. How's our research going? Not too great at all. Hmm. Conjuration 1. Hmm. It's not going to get us anything really useful at all, huh? Hmm. No, no, it's really not. That's unfortunate. We really need Conjuration 3 to get anything of value uh, out of this. So that's. Well, it's too bad because we're going to have to do this entirely on the strength of our troops, and this is a nation that's really going to do things more on the strength of their mages a lot of the time. I think I'll wait for more troops before I send this guy out again. And da, 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 da. I wonder if I can actually take that with these guys. Maybe. Could be. Could be the case. Hmm. All right, this is doing pretty well. Caves of the Deep. One turn. They're going to give us... Actually, damn, that's actually... This is going to give us a shitload of gold. You know, I wonder... Maybe it's just coincidence, but I wonder if... I wonder if water provinces are better in Dominions 5. I don't know if anything's been changed about, like, the logic for, um... How much resources and gold they get, actually, off the top of my head. But, uh, it could be. I want to recruit more. But, hmm, I don't want to waste turns on it. Yeah, he's got to wait. Okay. Let's see how we did. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I haven't, I've lost a decent amount of Kappas, but uh, beaten by the defending forces of Pythium. Seriously? Yeah, I guess I didn't have that many units. That dude's retreated very early. Damn. I guess four Obakamonos is a lot of their total hit points, but geez, that's, that, should have, that should have been a win, I think. Huh. Let's fucking go right back into it. They don't have. They probably won't have those troops there this time. Okay, this is a pretty decent ex army. Yeah, not great, but hey, it's still early. Early days yet. I really want another army. Go a different direction. Um, let's do. Let's get two of these guys to lead our troops. And yeah, that's probably fine. Okay. <laughs> Da -da -da -da. All right, can't do multiple jumps at once, I guess, still. Amber Clan, that's <laughs> that's a little spooky. I guess I will... I, take, I can probably take out these lion. I can actually probably go this way and expand into this lion tribe and take them out. I'd like to get that little area plugged right there. Plus, it's a mountains. I think you get, get some... I think I get some foreign recruit units in mountains that are nice. Okay. So Airmore still shouldn't have very much territory. They're gonna have too many resources because they're a bloody, bloody AI, but I think I can take them. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, see, this is much better. It's so much better when they don't like uh, fail a morale check, isn't it? That's why inspirational presence is nice. Of course, if these guys were uh, sacred and like nothing else, that would actually be like super great, but uh, I guess then the then your Bakum, die Bakumon would be sacred, which would be uh, pretty hardcore, but uh, yeah, too good. 
Okay. We're going to attack into here, and we're going to attack into here with these guys, and this should put Pythium on the ropes. Uh, pretty hard. Now, if we can take their capital, that's going to give us a huge advantage. 